The fucking Carthaginians are coming, aren't they? Hannibal's at it again, like he was in the last game, and in history. <laughs> that really tickled you, didn't it? You really enjoyed that one. That was a great joke. Johnny Chiodini. Hello. You've never played a Total War game just in general, right? Yeah, no, I, I never Let alone Rome 2. Total War. I, I had a, a tiny bash at Rome 2 and played it and went... I, I just... I feel like a lot of people bounce off it like that. Um, so hopefully we can get past that stage at least. And also, Time Commanders is back, so this is massively topical. That's, here's hoping we don't get mullered in the middle, Chris. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes. I'm we... very excited about this one because one of my <laughs> friends is a voice actor in this. Okay, we can't. We, let's not waste all our good anecdotes straight away. Well, I'm not. I'm well, not... We're, okay, that's a teaser. That's a teaser. Yeah. All right. Uh, when, when we hear it, I'll, t I'll tell you about it. You'll be. Oh, you will to identify it. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, um, yeah. Right, we're not doing the prologue because this is a sandbox game. Okay. And that's nonsense. So if you go to the top one that looks a bit like a bird and then go to Grand Campaign. There's Jon Snow and his elephant, there as you remember there, from Game yes. of Thrones. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I did. I forgot about the the elephant. Yeah, he took his vows. <laughs> that would, that would, he would make for an interesting member of the Night's Watch. He, he was, yeah. On account of being an elephant. Yeah, I think he's <laughs> and not thinking about and not a human man. <laughs> okay, okay, so basically, you need to like unify Italy under Roman control. Got it. Uh, is is the start of this? I think, to be honest, so the Total War series, mm -hmm. all the games are like they're split into. There's two separate halves. There's like this bit, which is the grand campaign, the map itself, right. and there's the battles. Yep. And I feel like if I'm going to win you around to, to the the, the strategic beauty of a total war game, it's not going to be in this bit. Okay, he's absolutely massive. Yes, all of the, <laughs> this is part of the the lore of total war. All the characters are actually bigger than the cities right. that they uh, yeah, they Jesus, conquer. It should be easy to, to fortify <laughs> and unify. I wouldn't even bother Italy. buying walls if people could just step over them so easily. Yeah, Christ. Anyway, your setup here is that you have a few cities, and you've got three cities under your control. Okay. But more importantly, up at the top there, you've got yourself a little army. This, Let's this, have a look at this, this person. Here. Ready for battle. Oh god, I do not like the unit cards that they had in this game, I forgot about that. So what have you got here? You've got some Astarte, which you like, basic Roman soldiers, which makes them like, freaking great anyway. Right. Um, you've got some Javelin throwers, mm -hmm. and you've got some Javelin throwers with the, dog the, Yeah, those ones are like proper ones, and the other right. ones are like sort uh, of amateurs. peasants that have been given javelins. Right, got it. Um, so bear that in mind. Masks for them. And then you, you do have a unit of cavalry as well, so it's very exciting. Mm. So let us find something to whack. Smack. I reckon uh, the city of Velafri up here. Okay. You're at war with these guys, I think, or you're about to declare war on them. Oh, oh, there, there, let's smack that one. What, this, this guy? So they have the Thunderbolts of the Nine. I love the. Uh, yeah, procedurally generated names that they go with. Um, Alright, so I'm right clicking to attack. Yep. So a beautiful thing about... Uh, oh god, this is going to be ridiculous. This will be a good a good sort of tutorial, I guess. There's about nine of them, of the Thunderbolts of the nine. <laughs> yeah, and so... I'm you, feeling very... Yeah, you're going to destroy this, yeah. Okay. Fight the battle on the battlefield? Yes. Usually you'd auto-resolve something like this because it's so one-sided that it right. wouldn't even be fun. However, because you need to sort of learn learn the ropes. This will be a nice little sparring match and then you can go into a proper battle. Okay, cool. Okay, so you can wait for different weather conditions depending if you've got like wow. archers that um, like have fire arrows and things like that, but it doesn't really matter okay. here. So start deployment. And there you are, there's your, there's your force as it is at the moment. So this is the sort of the bit where, where it can be a little bit off-putting, right? Because already there's a lot of units to think about. Yep. So here, let's let's just go through what I think is like the basic setup in a in a total war game, which is if you select all your infantry. So if you um, you can do it on the unit cards or on the map itself. Right. Uh, so that, the the Hastati, those like these four at the start. And then if you hold on shift and then click the the last one in the group. Uh huh. Yes, it'll put all of them into. That was my friend. That was my friend Chris. What? Hang on. It's proud Romans all, this is line. Hastati, commander, orders, ready and sure it was, mate, yeah, yeah. Hastati. Yeah, no, we all believe you. Your mate's in total war, yeah, yeah. He is, he's in total war. Hastati, orders, ready and waiting, orders. Maybe, maybe he's just a bit shy. Hastati, your orders, ready and waiting. 
proud Romans all. Yes. There There's my boy Chris. I, is that just he just did that one line, or is that just I'm the not, one that you know of? I'm not sure. Maybe all of those were him. To be honest, I don't. Know. That's excellent. He's an actor. It's That's very very tell. cool. Uh, he, he went and auditioned for them. He read for them, and he was in the sound booth. And they were like, "All right, thanks. That was that was great. You know, thanks very much. We'll yeah, be in yeah. touch." And he was there, and he was like, "I, I love Total War. I'm a massive fan. Do you want me to do anything else? Like, do you want me to do like um, dying noises or something?" And they were like, um, "Yeah, go on yeah, then. All right. <laughs> and he was like, ah! In the sound booth, and he got the game. That's amazing. Right, so I've selected all of them now. Okay, so if you press Control and One. That puts them into a group now, which is really useful okay. um, because it means like if you like click off them and then press one, it will just select all those units in one go, Got which it. makes it a bit easier. Um, so now, if you want to just like yeah, do the same with all of those uh, the ranged units, and then you may as well do it for the the cavalry as well. This is always a good idea when you first start. Then you you feel like you've got some sort of yeah mass control. Okay, um, I think. Down, lads. <laughs> stop shouting. I think that formation. Stop it. I think that formation is fine for now, um, yeah, because you're, you're going to have such an easy time with this. Mm -hmm. So if we start battle, and and see where they're, where they're set up in comparison. You're saying that we should. The battle. Start the battle. Has started. Has sta oh, I see. That was an eight out of ten joke. Well, you didn't land it. All right, that's what I was saying. <laughs> okay. Tell him to go away. We don't need. I'm. I'm going to be your Roman advisor your in this mic, right. stage. So uh, yeah, let's go over there and have a look at what they've got. So this is just. You can't actually see all their forces, but yeah, they haven't got. They haven't got loads of things. They're very heavy spear infantry. Which means you do not want to charge your cavalry into them. Right. So right. here's a sort of typical rule of, of uh, total war games. Infantry like swords, swords and shields mm -hmm. beat spears. Right. Spears beat Eight. cavalry, Four. cavalry beat swords and shields. Got it. So like, there, there's a lot of like rock, paper, scissors stuff to consider. Yep. All right. I've played the 3DS game where you literally play rock, paper, scissors on the battlefield. Well, mate, this is, this is, this is, don't you, how dare you what? come in here? I'm not saying Look how many same. soldiers are already on screen and we're in a very small scale battle here. Okay, let's move forwards. Let's, okay. let's go and... Uh, so what, do I right, right click? Yeah, so like move, move the camera forwards and just so you can... In fact, if you'd like to, if you hold down the mouse wheel, you might be able to shift the Ooh. that if that helps at all. Oh, that is handy. Um, so if I click there, they'll just yeah, go hide. Your, yes. Uh, if you right click once, they'll walk. If you double ah. click, they'll run. So let's just get everyone moving forwards. And then uh, uh, cavalry as well. Christ on a bike. Are you struggling with the camera? There's a bunch of things that I usually I like to find one camera view that sort of works and I stick with that for most of the battle if I can. I feel like I already feel a little bit uh, about this. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. There, like there are loads of things we can do to simplify this. Okay. First of all, you can pause the game at any time, which is really cool. Like if they start freaking out, we'll pause and we'll think about it. Okay. If you press tab, you can see Whoa. like a strategic view, so you can see like oh right, my range units are at the front, mm -hmm. then my infantry, then those guys. Um, so basically what's going to happen now is because your army is way more powerful yep. and you initiated the attack, there your you your pals aren't even going to, they're going to stand their ground and hope that you come towards them. Okay. So we can, if bottom right, yep. if we want to put that to fast forward, uh, again, that next one. The game speed controls. Oh mate, Shut up, mate. yeah, well, no, no shit. The, ga the game speed controls. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll just keep pushing forwards and then we'll get nice and close to them. And then we can really win this fight in in any way you like. Right. Because you have so many more <laughs> units than they do, it's really quite unfair. I mean, I want to send in my mate, Chris. Okay, that's the Histati, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, we could have told our troops to run, although it'll use a bit more stamina, which is mm -hmm. worth thinking about. Okay, so they're moving now. Let's press P. And let's have a look at this. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. So what have they got there? At the front, they've got light missile infantry. Right. Then they've got heavy, heavy spears spear and heavy spears. Right. Okay, so basically, if we go back to the rock paper thing, mm -hmm. our normal infantry, if we get them in against their spears, we'll win. Right. And that missile unit at the front, why don't we tell all of our missile units to go and attack that? Sorry. Like, double-click it so that they run as well. And then... 
Um, the hostility are going where? If we hold space. Yeah, so it shows you what, what orders you've used so far. So maybe like just tell them to just like oh. sort of just get fairly close. Don't tell them to attack yet. Okay. But like uh, well, if we but push like we'll see we'll see how they respond to our missile infantry. So okay. just like line them up like a little bit further back than that. Yeah, yeah, somewhere there. Okay. Yeah, and you'll see they'll go like that. Oh, this is handy. Yeah, so space is the best button in the game. Right. And then maybe put the cavalry behind them as well. Um, and you could also tell them to run if you like. It's up to you. We'll leave it for now. It's fine. Okay. Well, the horse is the horse is going to cheese it. Okay, cheese it. V big fan of that expression. So now we're going to see your missile infantry just really go to town. Okay. Here, which will be fun. So we can. The beautiful thing about Total War now is that you can zoom in and see all of this happen, nice and close. So you get to go like big, uh, grand scheme of things, and then like individual people chucking javelins with their mates. Whoa. Okay, how's, how's that going for those guys? I don't know. Hover over them, that all should give you an idea of... So they've lost 15. Yeah, they're, they're, gonna, they're not going to win that fight. Okay, okay. so up. now, their two infantry have gone to try and flank you. Yep. Once again, we don't really want our cavalry on this, so you maybe... protect your flanks though, I know that. Always protect your flanks. What so if I split my hostile? I'm, I'm a big fan of this already. Johnny, and send them you've nailed it. Out this way? Just go, you may as well just attack them directly because then they'll just fall in. Cool. And that's your general, by the way. So you, it's not always a bad idea to keep them in some kind of safe position. It's a really right. strong unit, but if he dies, that's going to be. Oh, so many bad things going to happen for you. Right. Um, the men will be sad. Yeah. Or they need to find a new general. You, it, he might be like a leader on your grand campaign, and then like you're facing political issues, all sorts of real bad shit. Oh man, so they're about to break as well. You've really, you've really thrown some javelins oh, the at them. Is and then these two are both trying to charge in to try and... Oh, these guys... Ah, oh, look at you in skirmish mode. It doesn't always work perfectly for skirmish mode, I will warn you. Maybe oh pull... Oh my god, they yeah. are miles Maybe pull back. the cavalry back as well. Huh. Um, because the cavalry you just don't want in that fight. Just get them out of there. Yeah, yeah. That'll be good. They'll, they'll, they'll escape that. Okay. Oh, oh, the skirmish mode, skirmish mode. Come on, skirmish mode. Yes, there's the starty. Oh, look at us, we're flanking. Okay, do you want to be, do you want to be fancy? Let's yes. press P. Uh, pull out just a little bit. Where was the second unit of Astarte that was about to charge in then? Um, just, yep, yeah, there's... Uh, this one? I think it's that one, yeah. So instead of telling him to attack, actually just tell him to come over uh, to the right hand side instead. And then we'll swing them around the back and do Four. a big flank. Um, and then how's it going on the other side? Oh, they're just, everyone's already involved in that. Right. That's cool. So you, you're, you're winning. Okay. You're winning and everything's going really well. One would hope. I'll bring them up around, try to see him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. It's nice how, how into this you are. Smash them in right. the back. Now? Yes. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> Behind you, lad. Oh, you're trying to hold guard formation, are you? Oh. How cute. Enveloped by all, Roman Astarte. All nine of you are oh. getting into the <laughs> shots, mate. There is such a thing as friendly fire. <laughs> I will warn you. But I'm sure that doesn't matter. Yeah, they are getting. Oh, look at that! They're already about to break because they're fighting. They're fighting a, a battle on fighting two sides there. I was going to say that, but it, a war felt a little bit too much considering. The, the I don't know. <laughs> I mean, God, that guy in the background really got some javelins thrown at him. Oh, ah, there he goes. <laughs> too have, many. <laughs> have that. <laughs> so actually, I think the reason they haven't broken yet is because they they'd find it so hard to even get out of this fight that they're just like, fuck it, we'll die. Oh, there they go. There you go. General is dead. You've killed a general. Brilliant. And there you are, victory. First battle, so smashed we, it. We can continue and just you continue can, yeah, to like... Which is actually sometimes worth doing right. because if you haven't quite destroyed an army, mm -hmm. um, you want to try it like, it's, they will escape and may come back to cause right. further issues. So there is a, a reason sometimes to mercilessly like hunt down decisive victory. You always want to be reading that, Johnny. Savory Every fun. time. <laughs> maybe, maybe not say the reason. That was masterful. <laughs> Proud Romans all. <laughs> so you lost 72 men, but killed 318. Nice. Who did well for you? Who did well for you there? Javelins. Oh, Ooh, I tell you what. Considering we were saying like some of those javelin throwers didn't have wolf hats, yep. they did all right. Okay, yeah. you get a choice here. What do you want to do with the people that survived? Ah. Enslave, Enslave, release, or kill. So... This is heavy. Yeah. Like, there is a real 
you can have a, a huge impact on the culture of your civilization if you enslave too many uh, enemy soldiers. Like it was in the in the start of the game, it does a lot for you. Eventually, you know, you're looking at rebellions. Yeah. So I'm gonna say, do you get any money if you release them? <laughs> any money? He's very excited. Uh, I don't know. Though that, that faction will just like you a little bit better. Murder them, Johnny. Murder them all. This is Rome. It's right. Honestly, if you don't murder them, they'll. <laughs> okay, this is a startling they, insight they, into your. They might like you more, and you're going to wipe out this faction anyway. <laughs> Excellent. Big fan of that. We could also resolve it. <laughs> yeah, let's just auto resolve this one. Let's find you a proper, a decent one. Decisive victory. Oh no, that's prediction. Let's, let's and that's your it. general's prediction. So he's like, yeah, I'm going right. to. I will win this decisively. What? what? Uh, which Aggressive, you you have like so many more troops than they do. That's good. You stabbed him. Stabbed a giant oh, in his crotch, oh no, and God. then in his spine. He's almost certainly crushed half the city falling down like that. <laughs> That's horrible. Um, Sixty-one men lost, probably to friendly fire. Yeah, I should think so. Then you need to pick an option down here. So, what do you want to do with the city? You can burn it to the ground. You can loot it to get some money. You can occupy it. We're not thinking about grand campaign here. So, like, burn it to the ground. Just burn it to the ground. Fuck Italy. Well, we don't need Italy. I'm <laughs> sat right here! <laughs> Let's click on him and get him attacking this city. Hopefully there's some kind of defence, although I'm, I'm not entirely convinced there's going to be. It's a bit better. It's a bit better. It, like, they actually, you know on the battle deployment there, it's got like two bars representing the two forces. Yep. That, like, you can actually see theirs this time, which is new. Right. <laughs> so, okay. I mean, they have a unit of cavalry, they've got you know, a, a variety of different kinds of troops. And if you click on the second guy as well, they've got a couple of uh, ships as well that will, oh. will dock and then their units will come out. Fun. This is this is a proper Let's fight. This, this is a good one, yeah. So if we do the same thing that we did last time. <laughs> Was that your brain? Yeah. That's good. Sons of Mars. Let's different kinds of units. They're, they're looking around the map bit. I love so, this bit in uh, Time Commanders because no one ever does their homework properly and they always get surprised and buggered by like, other things. Basically, if we get to that command point and hold it, we'll win. However, nine times out of ten in battles like this, you win by killing Just all the other people. Great. Um, so we'll do that instead. Should I get started? Yep. Go, you see the mini map down there? Yep. Let's click on those. You see those two red dots uh, further north? Oh, get this, look at this. They, they're actual, uh, like they completely boffed the, the naval battles in, in Rome 2. Those are stupid. But I man. really like this bit. I like that the, the naval units can land, right, jump out yeah, their ships yeah. and become actual normal units. But these guys look like they're wearing wontons on their heads. It's fine. They look daft. Mate. Bunch of dafties. They're going to get you smashed. Right, can we get rid of fire at will over here? I, I, I can't, we should have turned it's off the, the tutorials. Bro, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, I'm Fire at Will. <laughs> I uh, wanted to make that joke, but I was like, you know what? Oh, what Johnny will do it. Yeah. Johnny will do it. <laughs> <laughs> also, you get these weird things where like the cavalry is going slightly quicker at warp yeah. speed, and now they're like, come on, lads, excuse, excuse, excuse me, me, excuse me. I'm coming okay, through here. I'm, I'm, I'm on a horse. I'm on it. Oh, so we've got some heavy spears there. And then they had a unit of cavalry somewhere, which I'm a little bit worried about because okay. they will come at your range units. Of course they will. But you know what, we're fine. Okay. We're fine. I say let's get let's just get things moving and tell our range units to go and attack the the spearmen. Alright, so they should have just started firing here. Yeah. And they are just they're just taking the shots. However they've got spears so it's gonna be actually quite tough to to um, to land the kills. However if nice. they're willing to just stand there and take I mean, no take shots. Yet. Okay, I think people are still... Oh, there we are. There's your boys. Uh, what do? Well, they're in skirmish mode, so they should fall back. Um, should be in the operative. Come on, lads. We've killed I've one killed of them one so them. far. Get okay, in. shall we get their starting involved? Leg it. Right. Ha, leg it. Ha, ha, ha. They're in skirmish mode, so they'll do that on their own. I think we may just want to get yeah, our starting charging in on that. Piss, they're quite a long way away. However, they're now turning their backs to them. Oh, oh never yeah. turn your backs to it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, Christ. oh, God. There. And because they're heavy, they're, not, they can't, they're struggling to catch up with our skirmishers. Yeah. And our Astarte should now just... Yeah, that's it. Batter that's them. it. Them. Right, let's try and get a flank. Let's try and get a flank. Let's try and get someone around the back. Okay. So uh, one the back. Yeah, one of these two. These lads. 
Um, yep, that'll do it. That'll do? Yep. Okay. I'm, I'm, I have to say, I'm enjoying this with my own personal strategist. <laughs> I, generally speaking, I think games like this just tend to flummox me because I'm not very good at micro. I tell you, oh, your javelins are just, your javelins are actually doing it all on their own here because yeah. the, the problem with shields is right. they only face one direction. Got it. Oh, yeah. mate, that's got no, that's excellent. So You've destroyed them. There. Yeah, let's get your starty lined up again so they're not getting twatted by javelins. <laughs> True. Excellent. <laughs> Cool, they're all done. Right. All right. Um, we haven't really got line of sight on. I tell you what, we could use our cavalry actually for for once, and let's well, have them go on a little scouting mission on the left or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love that you've sent them through. <laughs> yeah, if you could just run through sorry. <laughs> hundreds sorry. of sorry. javelin throwers. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Oh bloody hell! Pardon. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Thing. Just whack them over there somewhere. We'll we'll figure out the specifics later on. Oh, okay. Not not like that. Though. I mean, there's 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 lots of them, isn't there? That's the problem yeah. with these javelins. We've got bloody loads of them. We've got more javelins than we know what to do with. Yeah. You know what? Let's just tell all our javelins to go and throw javelins at those guys. Got it. Uh, they're in they're in skirmish mode. What's the worst that could happen? Are they in skirmish mode? Uh, yeah, we yeah. Didn't talk about oh, oh, they're not in file at will. Yeah, may as well put that back on. Great. Seagull's massive. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, let's not worry about scale in the Total War series. Okay, alright. All right. I'm just I'm just saying, like, it seems weird to be controlling all of these troops. I mean, we could have giant way. seagulls. Yeah, I, I've, I have got giant seagulls. Okay. Oh, hello. It's getting a bit spicy in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically what's going to happen is the cavalry are definitely going to charge at you. <laughs> right. right. Um, but we've got our Hastati here. Okay. And I always said that usually infantry don't beat cavalry and all that jazz. But you know what? We've got so much infantry. <laughs> and then let's get the cavalry like in a position where they... Basically what we're going to do is they're all going to charge over there and then our cavalry is just going to really get involved. Oh okay. no, let's like proper flank. Let's get like over... Over here? Not quite that close just yet. But like maybe over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Oh, they're all sort of moving around. We've got shields on our start. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about taking too many hits. Oh, what did I do? I heard something. He slowed down again. Oh, it's because you've just told him oh. to move. And now you're getting involved. This is all brilliant. You can just hold your ground here. And what, what what's waiting there? So some slingers and some a mob and then their okay, melee right. You know what? I'm sort of tempted to just say, fuck it, let's just throw the general in. Fuck it, let's just throw the general in. At the same time, let's just tell all our Astarte to just charge in. Okay. Um, this is, we could have done this a little bit better, but you know what? It's getting exciting. Yeah, that'll be fine. They'll, they'll work it out. They're, Everything's about to kick off. They're almost certainly going to catch the camera <laughs> in the back. It's fine. It, like, okay. Friendly fire, it, it can be an issue, but like at this level, you're, you're it's fine. It's an issue when you're guilt tripping me about it. Yep. Oh, here we go. Come on. There's cavalry getting involved. Their medium oh, cavalry is having a go. But our cavalry is better. Okay. And now everyone's sort of charging over there. Oh, <laughs> it's fine. Just get everyone involved. We're doing a big free for all. <laughs> this is perfect, actually. Your cavalry is now just fighting their crappy infantry. Right. Their generals like surrounded by ours. Uh, yeah, it's all going well. Great. What are your javelins doing? The throwing at those guys. Oh, yeah, really? Brilliant. You've won. <laughs> okay. You've won in one big charge. Great. This will be great. This will be great. This will be absolutely great. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Ba, 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 ba. Go on. Yes. You can run away, but not very Whoa. quickly on account of you not being horses. You can hide, <laughs> but you can't run. <laughs> oh. This is what it's all about. Next, next one. Next one. Next one. Let's go. Oh, Let's right. go. Right. Smash into them. <laughs> They're all routing. They're all routing. <laughs> As soon as I clicked on them, they were like, oh, <laughs> just started legging it. That was perfect. <coughs> What's this guy doing? Come on, mate. So there's there's a morale um, sort of system that's always working in battles. And like because one unit started fleeing, it was like a sort of domino effect then, which right. is why I was like eager for you to get into the next unit. Got so basically, it. they've all, because most of them started running, yep. everyone started running, and you won even without killing everyone. Nice. And that's how war works. Right, got Total it. Total war, that is. <laughs> oh, what a video game. I think that's probably the best place to leave it. It's quite a lot to take in it there. It feels like there's a lot that I didn't sink my teeth into, <clears throat> but in terms of like 
having a, a battle and having units and not panicking about what to do with them. Mm -hmm. That was great. Um, I enjoyed that and I enjoyed hearing my friend's voice. And another decisive victory. Excellent. Cool. Is, okay. I think that's it then. Cool. Thank you for watching this week's Late to the Party. See you next, Proud next week. Romans all. Proud Romans all.